<laughs> He'll be back when he's ready to be back. He's, he's played enough tonight. Should have had a uniform on him. <laughs> on the sidelines. The officials were really helpful. I couldn't get him to stay out of my way, so I told the official to come tell him to stay out of coach's way. Uh, weird game. Uh, don't know what I'm going to do, but some way, somehow, I've got to figure out a way to do a better job coaching on the defensive end of the floor. I've always taken great pride that we can do some things there. and uh, they, they really shot the ball well. They played well. Uh, they've been... Kevin gets that kind of concentration and that kind of effort and that kind of focus. Uh, they're going to have a, a nice run. Um, they've been really bothered some of the games that they've lost. They've had some close games and then they've had two blowouts, but uh, they were really a good team tonight. And uh, we did enough to hang in there, we did enough to keep a little lead. Uh, down the stretch, we missed a lot of free throws that we haven't done this year, so I think that was good for us, to be honest with you, put ourselves in that position. I think we'll make a bunch of them the next time. Uh, they've been averaging eight threes a game to make 13 tonight. Uh, the problem is uh, playing them for us is uh, we don't want to take away some of our offensive po uh, power on the backboards. I think it was uh, uh, 20 to 6 points on offensive rebounds, but if you keep Kennedy and Isaiah in there to get those kind of things happen, it also means that they've got to go out and chase and play Young out at the three-point line or Artis out at the three-point line or Cameron Johnson at the three-point line. Um, I like the way they took the uh, what we were trying to do at the end of the game, use one foul that we had left and then uh, foul so they didn't have a chance to shoot three to make it go to the line. I have a great deal of confidence in Kennedy uh, taking the ball out of bounds and, uh, and getting it in. Uh, so I like that part, but again, if we, we need to make those free throws, but that's the first time we've been in that situation this year, and I think it'll help us next time. That's about it, guys. Some of the issues defensively. Just getting up on the shooter, but I mean, it's Kennedy Meeks is standing out there, and Michael Young's three feet behind the three point line. He, Kennedy Meeks is not comfortable, and uh, that's like you guys uh, standing at the free throw line with 21,750 people there. You would not be comfortable, and don't give me any BS. As 20% of you'd make the free throw, but uh, he's not comfortable there, and that's what it was. And then I think Michael made two in a row. Maybe Artis made one of them, but I can't remember. But it was, it was Isaiah and Kennedy both times, uh, you know, so that's uncomfortable for them. But uh, um, they really did some nice things. They ran the weave about three or four times and then set a screen on the ball, so it took up a little clock. And it also moved us a lot on, the, uh, on our defense. And then they tried to hit. Uh, they posted up uh, uh, Artis against Nate one time and uh, didn't want to jam down and double. Because if he does, he throws it back out, and then they got another shooter for three. But uh, 13 for 29, 45% from them from the three-point line, it's, it's hard to handle. But uh, we got to do it, and we're going to face a little bit of the same thing the next game because Notre Dame shoots a bunch of threes. But uh, some way, somehow, i got to get smarter, or we got to do a better job. When Joel has a rough game like he did at Miami, how is he most likely to respond? Do you notice kind of an attitude shift? Uh, you know, I, he was, he just internalizes it so much. He gets so mad at himself. Uh, uh, I walked out today at pregame and Coach Robinson said something to him and he smiled and I said, good God, what's your name? And I said, Cause did I hear Coach call you Joel Berry? Because the guy that showed up on Saturday was not Joel Berry. And I thought we had some alien that climbed up in his body, but uh, uh, I think it was Joel at pregame at shoot around today. And uh, you know, we made three in the first half, so he, Five for nine from three-point line. Justin was three for nine, and they went boxing one on Justin two last two plays of the first half, and then uh, and then when they went man, uh, we'd sort of been lulled to sleep uh, uh, against their zone, so we didn't move very effectively. But uh, uh, Isaiah got a big basket inside for us. Uh, Justin got a big basket when it got to be a one-point game when he drove it and laid it up. Coach, you mentioned defense a little bit. It seems like they were able to get some wide-open drives in the first half and close it out, and then they're hitting the shots from the outside. You know, how did that put pressure on your defense there? And what made it difficult? Well, you said it yourself. If teams making threes and then drive the ball to the basket too, they, they're kicking your rear ends what they're doing. But, uh, you know, they've got two guys. Uh, you can look it up. There's only one team in the league has got two all-conference players returning, and those two guys happen to be the leading scorers in the league. Uh, I think that uh, you'd need to talk to Kevin about how they've played. But uh, uh, Michael Young was 7 for 11, and, uh, and Jamel was 6 for 15. Uh, they're really good players. Cameron Johnson, uh, the last game against uh, Clemson that I watched, uh, I guess, Saturday night or Sunday night, whenever it was, uh, 
Uh, ball didn't go in the basket for them then, but it did today. But no, they're they're a good team. That's the reason you always hear me talk about balance. We got to have some inside scoring and some outside scoring. That's the most difficult kind of team to guard. To guard. How much of a difference, especially on the defense, then does Theo make? Well, you know, he would it would have helped to have a bigger guy, for example, towards the end of the game on Artis instead of Nate. You know, and so that would have been Theo. And the other thing that Theo does is uh, uh, it gets in the middle against his own. You know, and uh, Saturday. Uh, uh, we didn't have anybody get in the middle that's a playmaker. Uh, I said the other night on the show that he still was 18-2. I think he's actually in one of the stats. He says he's 20, 20 assists and two turnovers. So he's a playmaker, and it would help to have him uh, in the middle. But, uh, you know, I th I'm hoping we'll get him back. Uh, you know, I don't want to put a timetable on He's got a rolled ankle. And every kid that you saw him walk in and out, he's out of the boot. Uh, they're going to start working him some tomorrow. Um, I don't. Uh, he's not going to play on Saturday because I think that's too quick a turnaround. Joel Berry's uh, ankle was not nearly as uh, uh, severe a turn. He missed two games, so you know we're not going to have him for a while. But we'd like to get him back. Making that decision to foul them with two seconds left up on three—is that something that you would typically do, or is that based around the way that they were shooting the ball mixed with? Having you know, it's 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 always judged for debate. You know, but I believe that if you can get it to. Around five seconds, you should foul and make them shoot a one and one. A lot of it's me having so much confidence, Kennedy taking the ball out of bounds too. But we had a foul to waste, and so I wanted it to take a little longer. Uh, we make them get it in, and I said when they dribble the ten second line, you know, let's foul. So that's the foul we have to waste. And then we wanted to foul again. I started to call a timeout, but I had a veteran team up there, and I didn't call a timeout because Kevin didn't have any. And so I got the word to everybody on our team we were going to foul. And so Justin fouled to put him on the line. And we've talked about it in our practices before, but I think if you can get it six or five, anything below that for sure, I think your chances of winning are drastically higher. If you foul and just give them a chance to shoot a one and one and not tie it up with a three. And then you got to have confidence getting the ball in bounds and you got to have confidence that your guys are going to make free throws. And uh, we didn't make them as many of them tonight as I wanted to. We missed one, one and one, and then Joel missed the. Second of a two shot. Justin missed the first of a two shot. Isaiah missed the first of a two shot. Uh, was that it? And so we gave up, you know, four or five points there. One more if there is one. Or, or none. Twenty-five years, but uh, when you coach against Kevin or watch the team, do you see Roy Williams influence? Some, yeah, and and I'm proud of that. But it goes both ways because when he watches us play, he sees an influence too. Uh, but. Uh, you know, it's, uh, he's part of my family. Uh, one of the thrills for me was uh, uh, speaking to his son. And uh, I had three guys in the car with me. I was in Las Vegas going uh, to some high school basketball games in the middle of July and uh, talking to him and trying to convince him that North Carolina was the best place for him to be our, one of our baseball players. And it was a thrill for me to do that. And he had a great experience with Coach Fox and our team. And his daughter, Alexis, in school here now as a senior this year. Um, but, uh, no, he was uh, – I had as good as you can have. I mean, you think of this. I'm going to Kansas, which is pretty doggone good. And I've never been a head coach. But I had Jerry Green, Kevin Stallings, Mark Turge, and Steve Robinson. That's pretty good. And so they were my security blanket. And uh, uh, I would trust Kevin Stallings with my life. And he – trusted me a little bit with telling me his son what I thought he ought to do. Uh, but it was really easy because I said, if you come here, you get away from your dad. <laughs> 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 <laughs>